not the cutest thing. I put him down for his nap about 40 minutes ago and I thought, oh, lovely. Everyone else is out the house. He goes down for his first nap. I can just crack on with a couple of things and then I can start today's vlog. And then, just as I went to get the camera, who decided he wanted to be a part of it? Buh, 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 buh. Hello guys, welcome to the official movement. Can you say pack with us to move to the other side of the world? Pack with us to move to America. Today is a full on sort our life out day. We have childcare for both the children, which basically has happened twice in our life. I know what you're thinking, childcare. Gorge yourselves, go and treat yourself to a cinema trip. Maybe even go out for dinner. Let me tell you, our days of having childcare and actually being able to use it for a recreational experience such as a date, those days, long gone, honey. Not when we've got a house to move, huh? And there is a lot to do today. We have only been here for just under a month, but you'd be so surprised. At the amount of stuff that you accumulate as a family of four, you'd just be so shocked. Mm. Yeah, you'd be mm. so surprised. Especially when the youngest one is mm -hmm. as cute as you. Yeah. He does right. Yeah. It's very interesting for... This is why I need childcare because I just can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Especially with Romeo because he's so hanjong. You just show hi. Oh my god. So yeah guys, the countdown is on. We are five days away from getting on that one way flight. The chaos in my mind is just at such a high level right now that I'm gonna be honest, I just was gonna just kind of like try and make my way through today. Like I didn't even think about picking up the camera. And I thought, what am I doing? Not vlogging this very second of me feeling really Crazy. What do you think? Shall we kiss? No. Mm. Kisses. Enough Romeo spam. Let's get to work, honey. Okay. What are you throwing away? These bikes. We don't need to, like. <laughs> Trust me, Ellie. I am the ruthless king today. I'm going to be so ruthless that we might not even have anything left in the storage unit. Right, so... Oh, you come sit next to me. Hello. It's your lucky day. Like this. Um, so, plan of action today. I've just been picked up by my knight in shining armour. Busy one today, guys. So, put your seatbelts on. This is be exactly like that. It's going to be all over the place. We are using Jordan's van today. Oh, Very nice. lucky to have a wonderful brother-in-law that owns a van. Basically, we're doing something today that I have just been putting off ever since we moved house, which is going to this freaking storage unit. So in true Ellie Swift fashion, we're leaving it to the very last Yeah, minute. it's just, it's not my kind of cup of tea of the day. Do you know what I mean? Like this no, is just not on. a good day to me. We'll have fun, we'll have a laugh. Just... We'll get a little McDonald's treat ourselves. Well, can you describe why we're going to storage so, unit? Currently, because moving out of our house was such like a big job, job, and at the time we didn't know if we were definitely going to the states because yeah. obviously we were still going for the visa process. So we kept a lot of stuff that we. Con and Alan's decided we don't need. Yeah. Stuff. I am on the opposite end. Let me know if anyone else has a marriage like this. Also, Connor would literally throw everything away and start, start again, again in America. Yeah. Like new. Everything, Chapter. but I'm even talking like the Christmas baubles that we like, bought the kids. Look guys, like, okay, so look, let's explain. Let's go. Never be me. Let's go a layer deeper. We've got two storage units at the moment, and our plan is to eventually get it some of our stuff. One. Well, yeah, but our stuff shipped out. Yeah, so, but not straight away. Not straight away because we need to find so, a rental, a rental blah, blah, or a blah, house blah, if we're going to buy. Like we're going very open-minded. So. We need to condense it into one storage unit because it'll just be much more cost effective just yeah. to get one. It's, ex it's expensive. It, how much is it to get it's, stuff it's for over? one For one container, it's about £7,000. So, so having two containers yeah. is a lot of money. 
and a lot of it, like Eddie sta- said, is like Christmas baubles. We don't need. No, that we shit do over. need. We do need the Christmas baubles, Con. Okay, I'm not just over. like scrapping Saints' first two and a half years of life because we're moving to America. Like, what do you mean? There is stuff I want to keep yeah, but not from Christmas when he was baubles. baby. There's or, also stuff that we need if we're going to have another baby. Like, I refuse to buy all of that again. Like just his because, toys. You said. Like, he got, likes like, his, his toys. Like, he only got some of them for Christmas. There's a three walker back ago. there that Romeo isn't going to need. <laughs> it costs about £20 to buy. It's going to cost us 100 quid to get it shipped out there. We might as well just buy one out there. Just, like, do you know what I mean? Anyway, I need to go fill up. Do you want any snacks? Yes, I do. What Chocolate do buttons. Monster. Um, yes, I might have to shoot myself to a monster today. Yeah, I might do that. Is that it? Um, well, just anything you think I'm going to like, get it. But I need to have this door open. Give me a kiss. I need to have this door open. In America, diesel is green and the petrol is black. No, it... yeah, so it's the other way in there in America, so don't get well. don't get confused, Eddie, when you're going to fill up. How about just don't ask me to fill up? Guys, you know, when we go to America, we have to get new driver's license. Like, we have to take a driver's test again, which I'm nervous for because I did pass first time with my British test, but I also burst into tears because I thought I'd failed halfway through. Just don't do it under pressure, so... Yeah, you'll be all right. I'll... I don't know, Con. Like, it's all automatic, me, isn't it? It's all a test. Like, it's automatic, isn't it? It's easy out there. Yeah, but also driving on the other side of the road. Oh, yeah. But then I'm going to have to, because we can't just cope with you driving everywhere. Like, what if I want to go to a Pilates class? Yeah, what happens when I get invited out with all my friends and I need to be somewhere? Hey, what's that? Sorry, darling. All my gym friends are going for a beach run up to Yosemite. I'm going for the weekend. Yeah, I'm going to need to get my driver's test. Can't believe this is actually happening, guys. Like, obviously this has been the longest process like we have had this going on in the back of our minds since before we sold our house which was back in september october and we've moved house twice since then into new rentals each time and every time that we have moved it's been like okay like, if we forget to take anything with us it will just be in the storage unit so it's fine like storage units are 15 minute drive away like we can just go and grab whatever we need this time it's like okay we are literally either packing to put it in our suitcase to bring it with us to america and have immediately or it's going to go in our storage unit and potentially like we may never see it again if we do it might not be for like three to six months because um it takes a few weeks for stuff to get shipped out and we're not having everything shipped out immediately like we're not doing it in a big rush because we just didn't want to have that added pressure of phone calls and stress that comes with having like literally a four bed house and all of its furniture essentially being shipped over like we just wanted to get ourselves out there like i don't know if you guys remember from my old house like my stunning bookshelf it's like loads of clothes that we aren't gonna need it's like a desk it's a couple of tvs it's stuff that we aren't gonna need imminently like, i've already surrendered to the fact that it's probably just gonna be way easier to buy us all a bed out there when it comes to like packing the suitcase and stuff like that like i'm literally just trying to gather anything that i think i'm gonna want like within the first month or so of being there but it's mainly just like leggings and t-shirts so i don't even really have very many of so i'm probably gonna have to buy loads of new clothes out there like this is just we're basically starting our whole inventory like our whole family of four inventory and life again which is 50 percent exciting 50 percent expensive stressful a lot especially with two children and especially with two dogs but yeah i'm just trying really hard to just like stay positive and not let it stress me out i know what i'm like and i know that as soon as i get to the storage unit i'm literally gonna like have a freak out about this entire decision like this is just let's just say moving to america has not been a decision that we've taken like that this has been a lot of thought okay here he comes let's see what he picked me up you got whispers they, they, <laughs> it wasn't out of choice they didn't have any chocolate buttons let's not pretend you won't gobble them down <laughs> let's go team <sighs> cheers to cheers to sorting out our life cheers to moving to america cheers to, that's the real one and cheers to the official pack with me to move to the other side of the world. Let's go. Okay. Oh, God. Who's ready for the funnest job of moving house? First thing in the tip, this is the thing of my life. I've been trying to get rid of this about four years. And and say, no. First bedroom corner. That doesn't need to come. Oh, no. 
Christmas. Oh, would you just be happier if I just say get rid of everything? Yes, Guys, this is the moment I've been dreading. Like, I, I don't want to. I don't want to get rid yeah, of but this. This is what I'm talking about. This doesn't need to come to California with us. But one day I'll be able to say to the kids, "I bought this from Whitehall. Look, it's still got the tag on it." We're good to. I'll tell you what. If you throw all this away, I'll let you go to Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn. To buy the kids' furniture. To, to rebuy it all. No, just rebuy it in Pottery Barn. You know, called the living room pillows. Okay. We have some gorgeous pillows. I'm throwing that pillow. No, you're not. Oh, yeah, I feel like that's a staple autumn pillow. You don't need a pumpkin pillow coming to California with us. If we were to move, if we were to Texas, I'd say yeah, because we have a big enough house for all of this. Right, I'm going to keep that because she's so adorable. All of them are being kept. I don't know why you're opening my Lamax traditional Lamax houses. Do you want to hear something great? The white company delivered to America. I know they'll be really happy to hear that. Okay, guys, it doesn't look like it, but we actually are getting there because those boxes are just unopened, so I'm pretty sure that they can just come as they are. And all of those bags there are just closed, so again, they need to come as they are. But this is all of our keep pile that needs to go into the new storage container. This is the old one. Some cute memorabilia bits to show you here that some of you guys actually might recognise if you've been here for years and years. So Connor bought me this. Was this for my birthday or Christmas? I can't remember. It's Christmas. And it's literally just a little canvas of New York City. And this was from, I want to say it must have been like maybe our first Christmas or second Christmas yeah, together. So 2014. And... I just can't believe that now we're like looking at it as we're literally packing up our stuff to go to America and like it's a canvas of New York because that was our dream was to always like be in America. Also this little whiteboard that we've kept the writing on after all these years. This was from when we were in the flat with the red cupboards if any of you guys remember this and I was going through a tough time and I came home from wherever I'd been and Connor had written all of this lovely stuff on whiteboard for me. But What's we decided that? seven years ago I we decided to part that part with that now haven't we? Uh, I think it's time. Beautiful definition. The person who is reading this. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is always towards the sunshine and the shadows will fall behind you. That you are is all Extra that I'll ever need. Bio. If someone treats you with hatred, hatred, just remember that there is something wrong with them, not you. Normal people don't go around destroying other humans. That's right, Con. Man of many wise words. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the prepping packing organizing our life together to move to the other side of the world vlog i am currently home alone with the two babes day consists of one million trips to the tip the storage unit all that kind of stuff because we are on the official one day count down guys i love my flight is tomorrow but i just thought i would show you guys where we are in terms of having everything done well the majority of stuff like out of the house is is done it's just oh what are you doing in here are you on the phone hello <laughs> hello hello this is our packing room hello that's my suitcase right there oh my god there is ah. this room is a lot to organize yeah. but i'm just kind of keeping my yeah. battles this is like everything well, we need to take well, on the plane with us tomorrow well mommy well mom yeah hi then it will count We'll hide and you count. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, I just can't really pack when I'm playing hide and seek and demand. Do you know what I mean? Who is hiding? 
Yeah. Oh, you found me. Yeah, you, I'll hide. Okay. okay. Are you hiding in there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on, Romo, we have to count. Two, three, four. Ready or not, here I come. Hmm, where could Saint be? Hmm, is he in here? No, where is he? Yeah, Dad! Yeah, Dad! Yeah, Dad! Ready? Let's go play catch. Yes! Come on. And then the and the teacher. Okay, you'll be the teacher then. Yeah, I'm just kind of picking my battles today because I know it looks like I'm such an a mess in there. I'm an elephant. Hello, elephant. How are you? Oh! It's like an organised mess, you know? It's just a case of like putting things in the suitcase. And I'm really trying my best today to limit the screen time as much as possible because I know that if I kind of started to go down that route that is where we would end up and they would watch TV all day and obviously we have an 11 hour flight tomorrow which is going to be jam packed of screen time obviously nothing against our sweet friend screen time but yeah just today where I can help it I'm trying not to do that so Bonnie and I are honestly like passing ships in the night right now it's going to be very nice to feel like we can see each other again okay so just a bit of reality here here is the state of the dining room this is our packing room this is Connor's suitcase so great for him that he has managed to do his little life up in there the rest of us are still out here struggling this is mine it looks like a mess but it is actually quite organized if you know what I mean I've done the majority of my stuff in packing cubes down there it's just that this stuff won't fit in um but yeah, this is a spare suitcase we have. This is Saint's suitcase. That's Romeo's suitcase right there that I need to do now. And then all of this is just really like hand luggage stuff and Connor stuff to sort out. So I'm not too bothered. Do you know what? I always thought like, okay, like what do I need to pack to move my life to the other side of the world? And in reality, I'm just basically packing as if I'm gone on holiday, honestly. Like I don't feel like it's as big of a deal as you kind of initially think it would be. I've just packed like basically as many clothes that'll fit in there and just kind of like trying not to panic, panic about it because essentially we're gonna be doing like all of the food shops and all of that out there. So like even stuff like nappies, like there's not really any point. To be honest, like taking these because they're gonna fill up so much of the suitcase. Like the first day we get there, probably we're just gonna go to a big Walmart or Target. Oh my God, I literally could not be more excited. I can't believe this is my life. I can't believe that 24 hours time, guys, we're gonna be on the plane to our new life. Oh my God. Suitcase packed, suitcase packed, suitcase packed. One suitcase to go. With that. That's what we're doing tomorrow morning. Yeah. It is half past ten the night before our flight, our one way flight to America. And I can't believe we're, we're ready to doing go. It. Going to America. Have you got left to pack? Nothing. Just myself. I want to get into bed. You know, I'm having anxiety about how much sleep I'm gonna have tonight, what time we're gonna get up in the morning, all of that. But yeah, I can't believe 10 years worth of inventory we've gathered together, four bed house, and all of our belongings are packed up and ready to go to the other side of the Be world. Be shipped somewhere that we don't even know yet. So without further ado, that is gonna go ahead and conclude the, the prepping vlogs. I can't believe we're literally doing this tomorrow. We we're literally moving to America. We packed everything. Do you know what? I'm just packed. even. I'm just feeling. Like it's just. I can just go to Walmart. Do you know what I mean? What, if I yeah. forget anything, like. Worst case, we we'll just go to 
a shop. So we've got our passports yeah. for ourselves. Yeah. That's all we need. Okay, right, well, just gonna finish the vlog. Look out for the apple vlog which is the next video. God. <sighs> Wish us luck, everyone. <laughs> We're gonna need some luck. We got an eleven hour flight tomorrow morning. Yeah, we're gonna need some luck, mm. honey. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next freaking video, which I can't believe is the official video where we moved to America. Ah! Thank you for being here. You guys are the best. I love you so much. See you in the next one.